Yeah, look, um, a lot, a lot was said that day, that face off, but um, I, I can guarantee you one thing: I've got something planned for him on Wednesday night. What have you got planned for him, Joey? Because everyone has an opinion on this fight, and I'm sure you're sick of hearing them. But what do you plan to do? Just wait until Wednesday. Well, we will wait till Wednesday. What about between now and then? Uh, any fireworks? Do you think at today's press conference, when you face off, or tomorrow's weigh-in? <laughs> nah, I hope not. <laughs> it won't be a fight ahead then. <laughs> what did you make of him? And I, I know you tried to play it down, but watching him move around, because we haven't seen him in a professional boxing ring, because he hasn't been in one before, but we did at the open workout get to see him throw a few punches at least. What did you think when you had a look? Uh, my honest opinion, I didn't really think much of him, but I know he, he probably won't back down, but um, he looked very stiff, but for me, he was going to go in there and box. That's all I want to do. <coughs> And Wednesday, you'll find out what, what the um, conclusion is that I'll be walking out there with my hand up. George Rose says he can't see you getting past two minutes. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Big boy, eh? <laughs> yeah, good on him. Fair enough. Two um, minutes, two minutes. Come on, mate. Out of the um, face-off and everything that was said, Joey, is there anything you'd like to bring back up and maybe retort to Curtis Scott about now? Because everyone's had a look at that clip that came out over the weekend. Anything there that sort of stuck with you? Yeah, there was a couple of things that stuck with me, but I want to go personal to it. Because um, we all know why he's here and he's not in the NRL, so if he wanted to go down that path, I think well, it would be uh, a bit disrespectful. And you can watch the whole thing, the face-off between Joey Ladlaw and Curtis Scott immediately after this press conference on Fox Sports. We also did a face-off with Sam Goodman and Mark Schleeves, which you can have a look at as well. Um, just final words from you, Joey. Tell us what happens in this final Wednesday night. You see Wednesday night. <laughs> That's Joey Ladlaw. He takes on this man, Curtis Scott. Um, how do you feel about the fact that in a couple of days, Curtis, you'll be making your professional boxing debut? I know you've wanted to do this for quite some time, but now that it's so close, uh, how does it feel? I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Just sit into the microphone there for us, Curtis, if you could. But um, what did you feel about the face-off and everything that went down and all that was said between the pair of you? Because I know you've tried to be reasonably respectful and, and quiet in the build-up to this, but that all seemed to go out the window the other day. Yeah, we're all sitting face-to-face. Um, obviously, we don't like each other. Uh, we're parent, we're parent knock each other out. So, um, you know, it was a surreal feeling. Seeing not I with the person that's trying to take my head off and I'm trying to take it off his. So, um, yeah, it was good. Yeah, you say you don't like each other. Where does that stem from? Um, we got a bit of a taste of it in that conversation, but where exactly did that start? If you just listen to the bloke for two seconds, it does everyone's head in already. So, you know, I've got the pleasure to take it off, so I'm looking forward to that. Do you think people want to see you do that? Is that your opinion, your impression from talking to maybe fellow NRL players and uh, people around? They want to see you take your head off? Look, that's what we're here for. We're here to entertain, and um, that's what we're both going in there to do. So, that's it. And what does this mean to you, a victory in a fight like this? Is this the start of something for you? Do you plan on, on making this a career? Yeah, look, I've got, you know, I've set my standards high and, um, you know, I've got goals I want to achieve. So this is just the first person I have to put in a body bag and that's it. And your final words, your prediction and your thoughts on what we'll see on Wednesday night between yourself and Joey? I'm excited, I'm ready to go. Joey's found something very funny. What's happened, Joey? <laughs> Not, in, not impressed? The body bag. The body bag comment? What, what, do, you, what do you think about that? Two boys, two boys, fellas. Fuck it out. It's too stupid. I'm not going to leave my hands on it. He's mumbling and dribbling. I don't know why he's keeping my hands on it, man. Shit. You talk about feeling his arms. Everyone can feel his stomach as well. Soft as all fuck. <laughs> it's soft. Why not feel his belly? Feel his belly. That's it. <laughs> All right, we all done, boys. Curtis Scott on professional boxing debut. Joey Leilua undefeated as a pro. Ahead of what has turned into a grudge match. Let's hear it for Scott and Leilua, two highly credentialed middleweights who are fighting for rankings in the WBO, Andre Saavedra joins us from Venezuela via Mexico. Isaac Hardman, of course, the head splitter is his opponent. But we'll start with the visitor who joins us down the end 
of the table and he will have his translator Gonzalo uh, to help us out. Um, firstly, Henry, welcome. Um, how's his journey been to Australia and how's he feeling physically ahead of a massive fight? Thank you very much for such a good welcome. Uh, I feel it's very welcome here in Australia. Uh, the trip went well and I'm really looking forward to competing this uh, Wednesday. What does he know about Isaac Hardman? I'm sure he's watched a fair bit in recent times. What does he think? Sí, claro. Eh, una vez ya que me dieron fecha para la pelea, estuve eh, investigando un poco a Harman. La verdad es que es un boxeador eh, muy fuerte. Eh, hay que reconocerlo, pero bueno, nosotros también tenemos nuestras cualidades y, y venimos con, con esas ganas, con ese deseo de salir triunfador. Y eh, el este miércoles estaremos dando guerra en el ring. Uh, yeah, one, once I knew that, that I was going to be fighting with him, I investigated, I researched, I did my research, and he's a very strong, a strong boxer, that needs to be said. I also need to say that I have my qualities and I'm really looking forward to beat him. Isaac Hardman's predicted a knockout. What's the expectation from Henry Cerveda or his response to the fact that Isaac says he's knocking him out? Bueno, eso, eso es lo que todos dicen a, a la hora de, de combatir, eh, es el deseo de todo boxeador, pero nosotros también venimos con esas mismas ganas, con ese mismo deseo de, de hacer, de noquear a, a Harman, de darle una buena clase de boxeo y arruinarle la fiesta acá en, en, en su casa ante su gente. Yeah, that's, that's what they all say when, when we are going to compete, that they are going to eh, knock me out. But that's the desire I have. I have that desire. I want to give him a good lesson of how to box, and I and I feel I'm going to be kicking him out on Wednesday. All right. Thank you so much, Indri and Gonzalo. Um, Isaac, I know you fancy. You've got a bit of Spanish there. Can you throw something at Indri? Uh, perhaps. I've got a little bit. It's not as good as that. But uh, <laughs> hola, cómo estás, amigo? George should said my. Money, my back problem with the translator. <laughs> that's it, that's all you got. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. No, I've lost, been young. He's a big dude. Are you surprised by him turning up physically looking like that? Uh, I've got me thongs on, he's got three inches of Nike tread on him. So, um, uh, yeah, it's so so. Don't too much. So, he'll be the bigger man in the ring then, no, right? assuming yeah, you're both I'll wearing be. the same footwear? I will be, I reckon. For sure, I'll be fuller, that's for sure. I'll bounce back about 82 kilos tomorrow. Oh, Thursday, Wednesday. Oh, one of those days. <laughs> um, how's the prep been for this one? Another international opponent, um, an another unknown really for you, because there's not a, a heap around on him. Uh, what has it been like preparing for this one? Yeah, prep's been good. I've been getting some really good rounds in with heaps of people, so I'm, I'm stoked with the rounds I've got. Me and Blair get better every camp, so... Um, yeah, I'm excited about another international and, you know, third in a row, Mexican, they're, you know, they're fighting nation, so he's going to come forward, he's proud, and he's coming all the way here to Australia to take take me out, so I'm, I'm excited for that. And, you know, the middleweight division was a little bit dead, and that's what we had to give this bloke, but, you know, there's a few um, fishes swimming around in the pond now. We've got Andre Mikhailovich signed to um, No Limit now, and Matteo Tabby is signed as well. Um, and there's another bloke, Camel Toe, but he's, a, he's selling new memberships. But um, I've got this, this guy in front of me first, I'll get that done, and then we can suss our son now so afterwards. Do you feel the pressure to produce something spectacular? Because we've seen it from you before, and you know, George is asking for it there, and everyone wants to see the head splitter be the head splitter. No, no pressure. It's just, um, I'm an exciting fighter, and it just comes, you know, no pressure. But, um, you know, he's. We both got 15 wins. I've got 13 knockouts. He's got 12 knockouts. So it's fair to say something getting chinned come uh, Wednesday night, and it's not going to be me. It's going to be that bloke. And do you have a message to the people of Wollongong or, or to Sam uh, about his fan base getting on nah, board? Nah, all I want to say there's not much in the Mad Bunch here, but Mad Bunch, pack your popcorn, get your Coronas. Let's hope Andrew over here packs his cajones. Um, and once I've hit him with the Uno Dos Adios, we'll sit back up, sink some tins. 
and watch Sammy Goodman punch his mouthpiece from Melbourne. It's head in. That's about it. Is that your expectation for the main fight? That's, that's my expectation, that's for sure. All right, thank you, Isaac Hardman. Cannot wait for that. That's the co-main event. Let's hear it for the middleweights. That is our co-main event that you'll see on Wednesday night on Main Event.